Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Prince Onyx, and oh yes, I am back. So, I've been thinking about this for a while, and after yesterday I had read a couple of very interesting articles that talked about vlogging and, you know, having internet fame, but the, like, the hype doesn't necessarily match your bank account, and so it really dawned on me, and the topic and the situation, it really, you know, touched me, you know, right here, touched me in a special place, my heart, because as a content creator, you know, you want to be able to make a living off of this because this is not just a job, but it's more so your career. A lot of people, they have the goal to make you whatever they do within the entertainment industry, whether it's vlogging, blogging, or, you know, acting, singing, rapping, dancing, directing, you know, writing, producing, whatever the case is. You know, you want to make this your career and you want to be able to live off of this because my thing is we are in the and people such as myself are in the entertainment industry which is one of the hardest industries to you know survive and be successful in and so you know when it comes to the term sellout it's used like you know especially towards artists because here's the thing with a lot of fans who are looking outside in they don't understand your situation they think that just because you may have Okay, say for example, you have a channel, this person's channel has a million views, a million subscribers, and their videos rank up between 200,000 to maybe 500,000. So you're automatically assuming that that's, what, that's what's in their bank account, not realizing that when it comes to, like, for example, for YouTube with monetization, that of course, you know, YouTube, they get their, they're making money off of us, and so, you know, we make money too, but it's not as much. So it's like, you know, people fail to realize there's percentages and, you know, percentages that's taken out and other people are like, you know, you, it's like, it's basically like a record label. It's like a record label almost. It's like other people get their money first. Then you as the artist, you get pretty much the scraps, if you will. You get what's left, which is why you see nowadays, you know, well, most in recent years, you've seen the shift and a lot of artists would prefer to go independent. And then, you know, if they do get a, a record deal and in a sense, they want to make sure that it's not a 360 deal because a 360 deal is the worst record is the worst kind of record deal any artist can have, especially in this day and age. Because what it means is is that you know three 360 degrees, the label makes money off of everything you do. Rather, you know, your publishing, your if you get into like movies, TV shows, your merchandise, uh, hell, if you do books, whatever the case, whatever you do they're getting a percentage of that so you know it's like again it's adding more hands into the pot and so when people say like you know oh like you're a sellout da, 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 da. like specifically let's talk about the case of youtubers when they have like ads and they get sponsors like a lot of youtubers at the end of the at the end of their videos be like oh be sure to head over to audible.com or um shit, target or whoever is there whoever is sponsoring them they will you know tell their subscribers to head on over to them and check out you know what's new this month or what's new this week and let me know your thoughts and what's your favorite book or what's your favorite um, item from these people whatever the case is and a lot of people you know they will end up losing subscribers just because they are selling out here's the thing the whole starving artist term that shit is whack wiggity wiggity whack is played out and it's really tired and boring so it's like uh, the thing is a lot of people who are youtubers like I guess you can say big time youtubers you know, a lot of people don't realize that they are struggling. Like, I mean, shit, one of the most, because again, the articles, well, I didn't mention it, which is why I said again. But anyway, the articles will be down in the description box. So it's like, you know, for example, when it comes to a, a YouTuber like PewDiePie, he's making, he's making enough money to where, like, cause there was one article that I read that was specifically about him. He's making enough money to where he can live off of this stuff, but that's because of, like the sort the videos that he puts out because he plays he does the whole let's play thing where he plays the video games and has this like you know over the top reactions and stuff like that to it and so it's like with his audience it's usually like you know kids and teenagers you know young people who are into the video game culture so it's like you know him racking up it's like he has I think he has like he, um, he has millions plus subscribers and those views match the amount of subscribers because again you have to realize that it's all a numbers game I know that I'm all over the place with this video but it's just you know all the information that I was getting from last night it's just you know it comes out as is so for people again to, for people to say to their favorite youtubers or who or people who were their favorite youtubers that they feel like they're selling out that's really sad because you don't realize that these people 
are trying to make a living off of their off of their art, off of their work. They put in hours of editing and, you know, they do it's like the editing process is a motherfucker. I can tell you that firsthand from just, you know, dealing with the fact with the short film. Like, you know what I'm saying? That we just the confusion confusion diary of a confused vampire, which is coming out soon. It's like, you know, it's Editing is a motherfucker. Hell, there have been other videos on my channel, like shit when I did the slideshow for uh, when I did the slideshow for Confusion, uh, the screen, the private screening, and the slideshow of the different photos from the photo shoot. It took me so long to edit those videos, put the music there, match the music. I had to make sure that each vi each picture, because the way that my editing works is somewhere sometimes when I add music or something like that or when I add pictures I'll have one picture that's in color one picture that's in black and white and I want to make sure all the pictures are in or are, are, are in color unless I want them to be black and black and white like the only picture that'll be black and white is the intro picture and then at the very end of the video the pictures that follow the credits so it's just you know for people to say, like you know, my heart goes out to those YouTubers who have lost subscribers, those, you know, big time YouTubers who have lost subscribers because people feel like they're selling out. First of all, listen, we are again, we're in the entertainment industry. The thing is, don't work. So don't work hard, work smart. And you didn't sell out. Somebody people simply bought in. Now, my thing is, there's a difference between in the sense, you know, selling out to where you're acting a buffoon and a coon and, you know, doing all this foolishness just for a check and just you know, to make ends meet or whatever, there's, I guess you can say there's levels to this shit, because really when you think about it, for example, with the black community, which is why we hold, which is why, you know, we really are at fault, we are really at fault of doing this because we hold a lot of our artists back because the minute that they start to rise up and have success, we want to call them a sellout. The minute that they, in a sense, I guess you can say whether it's crossing over or if they start doing certain songs and they they you know stray away from their sound when they really haven't they're just you know as an artist for example a rapper or a singer you're growing and you would hope that your fans especially nowadays because fans are so fickle and fair weathered you would hope that your fans understand that you are growing point blank period you know what I'm saying so it's like you know to be flat out honest with you there's a reason why I take my breaks from YouTube because it gets tiring as hell sometimes. It feels like, damn, am I not doing enough? Do I need to act like fucking Glozell and all these other black motherfuckers who are cooning and buffooning for a fucking check and attention? Do I need to do the shit that they do just so motherfuckers can like me? No, because I refuse to do that. I refuse to give in. But it don't, but damn sure don't, be, but you best to believe that it does, the thought does cross my mind because it's just like, Damn, like I see all these other motherfuckers, they getting success, and I can't even get my, you know what, fuck it, I can't even get motherfuckers to help me to, you know, bring the next film to life, but all these motherfuckers, they can drop a donation thing for whatever the fuck project that they're doing, and then, oh, it just blows up. Now, no, I'm not sounding bitter, and yes, my voice did just get a little higher because I'm very passionate about this. See, again, as black folks, we need to stop holding our fucking artists back. We need to stop holding our people back. That whole crabs in the bucket mentality, yes, we all know that it came from, you know, slavery or whatever, but okay, it came from that. Let's break out of doing that. How about that? Like, if you see a motherfucker growing, guess what? You congratulate them. Stop fucking hating. Like, bitch, I just... I try to like keep this as cool, calm, and collective as possible with this video, but fuck that. It's just, you know... It's so damn difficult to be a you to be a black YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I was having a conversation with this dumb motherfucker who got lo a, a nigga basically who got fucking offended because I said I'm a black YouTuber. Bitch, it is what it is. I'm black and I happen to be a YouTuber. Hence, I am a black YouTuber. If you're upset and you're in your feelings because I use color, guess what, bitch? That's what the fuck is all about. Color, numbers, whatever the fuck. Bitch, don't start with me because if you really want to go there, we can go there. And trust me, I will wear that ass out until you can't fucking think no more. But that's another story for another time. So like I was saying, like if the day com if the day comes to where I end up getting sponsors and people may start calling me a sellout, here's the thing that I want you to remember. I did not sell out. My motherfuckers bought in. So if I end up saying at the end of the video, oh, be sure to check out Audible or Warby Parker or Target or whoever the hell, Amazon, Amazon Prime, whoever the hell sponsors me. Hell, BU Clothing, Nubia Apparel, Pharaonic Brand, whatever, whoever, you know, whoever decides to sponsor little old me. I did not sell out. I, people simply bought in. And again, this is the entertainment industry that people such as myself are entering. 
don't work don't just work don't just work hard work smart because you didn't sell out you bought in people bought in like that's the thing like when people and this is another reason why I feel like a lot of black entertainers end up abandoning us, if you will, because the minute that we call them a sellout, how the fuck are they going to come back to us after we just drug them for filth? You answer me that. You answer yourself that and then you answer me that. So it's like, again, stop with the sellout bullshit and all that, because, bitch, my thing is this. Unless y'all are helping these people, unless you are helping your favorite YouTuber or artist to survive, then shut the fuck up. Seriously, like, unless you're helping them to survive day to day because motherfuckers have bills don't think that just because you see somebody with who's famous on the internet hence internet fame that oh they got all this money in their bank account da, 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 da. and one of the articles i read there was one woman who literally walked a red carpet she was at an event she walked the red carpet and she had 80 fucking dollars in her bank account mind you on youtube got subscribers i'm pretty sure got subscribers out the ass different comments likes shares subscribers views all that but had it but had eighty dollars in her fucking account while walking the red carpet then there was another woman who was she's like a waitress she's a server at a restaurant and she's um she's a part of the buzzfeed uh, network and stuff like that so buzzfeed was holding an event at the restaurant that she happens to be a server at and she was at the restaurant yes but was she a part of the event no what was she doing oh yeah that's right she was doing her nine to five being a server and people you know who she served who recognized her from you know off the internet they was just you know puzzled because it's like well damn i see you on these videos and these videos are getting all these views and you know how come you're not seeing any other residuals from that and how come you're not having money like that again it's hard as fuck out here to like you know what i'm saying like damn again this is why listen i'm gonna be flat out fucking honest with you as much shit as I have talked about Mona Scott Young on my motherfucking channel, I'm going to be flat out fucking honest with you. There was a point in time where I considered joining Love & Hip Hop if Mona were to ever come to Chicago. And you know what? With this new season on New York, with the way that it's going so far, even though it's only been one episode, I am reconsidering it. Because my thing is this. Unless a motherfucker is going to help me, not just myself... But the business that I'm uh, that me and my friends are about to run, the P Nerdy Film Productions, and on top of that, help me help my mother, then shut the fuck up. Because unless you are helping to pay bills around this bitch, you have no right to judge me. Okay? So if you want to call me a sellout or call me whatever the hell you want to, listen, whatever helps you sleep at night. Because to be honest with you, you're better off drinking bleach to help you sleep at night. And that's just how I honestly fucking feel. So, again, if Mama Scott Young ever were to come to Chicago and want to do a love and hip hop, you best to fucking believe that I will audition and hope to hope to God that I get myself on there. And I really don't give a fuck if a bitch gonna call me a sellout because, again, unless you are helping me in my personal life to where I would not even have to consider reality TV then get the fuck out of my then get the fuck out of my comments. Get the like, why are you following me then if you hate me so fucking much? That's another thing too, like, to be a hater is almost to have something, something ain't right up here. Because if you hate a motherfucker, why do you care this much when they post something or they say something? Why do you care that much? Because secretly, yeah, you are a fan, but I believe it's something more to that. It's something up here that's, it's a couple of screws that's loose. But anyway, I will talk to y'all later. You know, let me know what you think in the comments, in the, you know, in the comments below. And that's just that. I know I got a little crazy. I know I got a little antsy and all that shit. But, I mean, again, y'all are used to it. And that's just how it is when I get passionate. So, I can't speak for everybody else when they get passionate and they, you know, whatever the fuck they do. This is me, Prince motherfucking Onyx. The name's Prince Onyx, and I'm a motherfucking boss. I do boss things. Unless you are a boss, you don't do boss shit, so you don't understand. So, again, you know... Whew, this was a little bit of a confession slash testimony slash just, you know, a one-on-one a -on -one chat and just, you know, about the word sellout and how it can really be damaging to artists who put their hearts and souls, money, blood, sweat, and tears into this shit. Because, you know, it's just, it's so damn difficult. It's so fucking hard. Like, whew, you know what? I'm going to just end the video right here because before I pop off even more, like, just fuck it. But again, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace. Oof, Lord, it's been...
Shit, and it's only 2.45 in the motherfucking afternoon. Ain't that about a bitch? Girl, listen. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Peace.